Good morning to you all from the playroom. Um, I haven't seen you guys in, in quite a while. It's Saturday morning. I actually haven't done any vlogging in the last week or so. I just haven't really been in the right headspace for it. Um, and today I am back. Um, feeling positive. We've got a really fun weekend planned. I feel like it doesn't really count as a lockdown vlog anymore because we're not really in proper lockdown anymore. We're kind of like half in, half out, shaking it all about. Um, also very aware <laughs> in my screen that I've got a giant picture of me there. I'm in River's Playroom right now, which is a room that you guys probably don't see very much. It's an absolute tip. I wonder why that is, Miss River Wren. I try and tidy up, but every, every hour it's just back to this again, so... Ah, <sighs> one of those things. But River loves it in here. It's basically, it used to be my office, so it's got like some remnants Mommy, of old office things. Like mess. my laptop. You did make, you made a little bit of a mess, yeah. Anything to say for yourself? Don't worry, <laughs> Okay, darling. You were just playing. Um, so yeah, I'm about to hop on the peloton. We're just waiting for Daddy to come downstairs from his shower. And then you can join us on our weekend. Peloton done for the day. Um, I'm actually really happy it worked out this morning because I was not feeling it. You know when you wake up in the morning and you're like, just no, but I did it. Um, I'm now gonna hop in the shower and then I've got a couple of things to show you, like a mini haul kind of try on situation. Watch this space. Also, in other news, I just got a delivery from Vichy. Um, this is my favourite Ideal Soleil tanning water, which I talk about all the time. They've just launched it in SPF 50. What? How is it possible? How? That's what I want to know. But it is, and it's good, and it's just as light as the 30. Crazy, crazy times. So I'm ready guys. I haven't looked this polished in ages. I made an extra big effort today because I've just finished filming something for Instagram um, in my spare room. So I've got all the, all the products out. Um, and I wanted to do a bit of a try on because I just had a massive box of goodies arrive from Farfetch. Um, you guys might have seen my Farfetch video that I made in collaboration with them back in April? No. No, because it, was, it wasn't April, because it was way before lockdown. It was March, the beginning of March, when I was in South Africa. Um, I did a haul of stuff that I got from Farfetch, and I'm super excited to be working with them again. If you guys don't know um, what Farfetch are, or who they are, it's a website that basically kind of collates all of the best small boutiques online um, and allows you to shop basically everything. They have, like... They have like every single brand available ever. Um, and um, like I've said before, I don't do a huge amount of hauls um, or collaborations with kind of um, fashion companies anymore, but I really like Farfetch. They have a real focus on sustainability. Um, they have like a specially like curated conscious collection, but they also are a great way to support um, smaller boutiques and smaller businesses rather than just the big department stores when you're looking to buy bigger brands because that's what they do. They kind of collate all of the stock from all the different independent boutiques. Anyway, I've got a delivery and I'm gonna show you what I got. So basically, over the next few weeks, there's a few summer things in there, but I also have um, one of my best, best friends is getting married in a tiny ceremony in a couple of weeks time. Um, so I've ordered a couple of things with that in mind. Equally, like, not just for that, because I don't really like buying stuff, like, just for one event. So they are kind of, like, things that could be dressed up and dressed down. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. Let's let's do a little trial. And also, if you're thinking of doing any shopping yourself, um, they've given me a 10% off code for the entire website, which is amazing. You can use uh, the code. I'll put it on screen now, and you can get 10% off the whole website. So anyway, let's do some trying on. Okay, I'm going to do this just, like, in my dressing gown um, and intro you to the dresses. The first two, these are like the more formally ones that are potentially for the wedding. Um, and they're both from Sandro. Um, and this is the first one, which is the most insanely bright pink. I, I mean, you might be able to tell by this all, I'm having a bit of pink moment at the moment, but I've seen this 
um, so many times it just keeps popping up um, on like my searches and when I'm literally, I was walking down the street the other day um, and it was in the shop window and I was like, ah, oh, I love that so much. Um, so yeah, this is it and I'm hoping that it looks as good on because yeah. I love it. Um, and the next one is uh, another Sandro number, but this is way more of a different vibe. It's got a kind of like um, slinky, like bedroomy feel. Um, I showed it to Mike on the website and he was like, it looks kind of like a nightgown, but in a good way. I love this. It's got these beautiful um, black ties to cinch you in at the waist. It's kind of like, I think it's supposed to be a midi length, but on me it's almost a maxi. And then it has these beautiful kind of bell sleeves. Absolutely love that. I think it's gorgeous. So nice. Um, I think this might actually be the one for the wedding. I love it. I really love it. Um, so they're the more, more casual, more formal options. For the more casual ones, they're kind of like, um, little bit more beachy the first one is a wrap dress and I love wrap dresses I like basically live in wrap dresses but most of the ones that I own with the exception of one which you guys will see because I've worn it for years is um, like a pink one with stars on but most of them are black and a little bit more kind of um, not wintry but like transitional um, but this one is super super summery it's from Melissa Odebash the other dress that I'm about to show is also from her and it is the most beautiful print. I actually saw this online um, and it doesn't, the pictures online really don't do it justice because in real life it's really, really vibrant and it looks almost like baby pink um, in the photos for some reason. And even on camera here, it's not like showing up how it looks in real life. It's just so pretty. It's this really gorgeous kind of like vibrant mid pink with orange, detail on the print and it's just so nice. I love the sleeves. I'm just, I just really like this. The quality is also incredible. And I think it's just a really good summer staple that I'll get a lot of wear out of. I also um, went for this brodery um, dress, which is more of like a beach cover up kind of dress. However, I think this is so stunning as I feel like it's one of those things I've looked for one for a nice quality dress like this um, basically for the last few months and this is the first one I found that is like a keeper um, because they can be a little bit hit and miss it's it's a fine line between getting like a loose casual fit and getting something that is actually also flattering the cotton on this is absolutely beautiful it's like super super soft it's just gorgeous you definitely need a slip under it if you're not wearing it like as a beach cover-up but I just think as a summer dress, it's a staple that will definitely be in my wardrobe for a long time to come. And then I'm gonna sit down for this because we're talking accessories. This is like a new style of haul video for me. It's like totally on the fly part of this vlog. Um, so um, I also got two pairs of shoes and both of them are, also in case you're wondering what this is in the background, this is a dismantled cot which should not be there, and I've just noticed that you can see it, because before, I was literally sitting like this, when I mean, you can't really see it. Um, yeah, so you can still see it, you can see it, there it is, there it is, mum life, real life right there. Um, let's just pretend we can't see that, let's put some shoes in front of it. Um, so I have lusted after these shoes for a really long time. They're Saint Laurent, they're sandals. Um, I'm pretty sure you all have seen the style. Um, they're actually the tribute sandals, which, you know the tribute heels that were like massive for years um, and are kind of like a staple design for Saint Laurent? They're the flat version of those. And they became big, I feel like, two summers ago. Last summer they were everywhere. And I really liked them, but I just thought, you know what, they look amazing. They look best in brown, and I don't wear a lot of brown. I was like, it's just, they're not for me. They look quite narrow. I'm not just like, I wasn't convinced. And then this season, they brought out these ones, which are the leopard version. And they're not like calf skin, like hairy leopard, which I don't really like. They're like a suede finish. They're super soft. They are a dark, almost like the tortoiseshell tone version of leopard. They're not like bright in your face leopard. And I just think they're so stunning. I love them. They also smell amazing. 
um i'm so happy with these literally i just think they're stunning what an addition i haven't bought any fancy shoes in a really long time um so this is like a massive mega treat but i love them maybe i'll get to wear them out of a house sometime soon um i also feel like they're the kind of thing that go with a lot um i wear leopard a lot and i love leopard i just think how gorgeous are they stunning divine i was so excited when i saw that um colorway because like i said the brown was not for me um but those ones are right up my street and then i've also got another pair of shoes which is from the classic espadrille company castanier um i have had a couple of pairs of castaniers um in the past mostly flat i think i've had one flat and one heel maybe two flats and one heel but they basically make the best espadrilles in the business and i finally caved and invested in their black um lower heel i think this is the 65 heel they are super comfortable i've actually tried them on already because i was too excited these are like the perfect summer shoe because they're super comfortable um these ones are the black ones so they're a lot more durable in terms of marking um surprisingly like unless you, if you have never had espadrilles before this doesn't mark that badly like it's quite a durable material um they're like rope uh sole uh, but when you do have the pale canvas that's what marks in my experience so i'm really excited to have the black ones of these i think they'll go with so much they're black but they're still really summery and the price point is really good on these as well so they're like you know a, a nice brand but they're not gonna break the bank and they're a classic in terms of style i feel like i've had a pair of espadrilles in my wardrobe for probably 10 years and i still wear them and i just think perfect i've wanted these for ages actually and the collaboration with farfetch was the perfect time to buy some so i got those and they have an amazing selection on the website as well of like all the different colors all the different heel heights um yes last but not least a new bag should we have a look should we have a little look at it um this is this is a summer summer bag i love it um, I'd been looking for a, uh, like, hessian straw summer bag for a while, and it, I'm not gonna lie, it came down between this one, and there was also an APC one, which I'll link below, was also really, really gorgeous, and I loved, um, and it came down pretty closely between the two, and I ended up going for this little number, which is from Chloe. Having just said I don't wear brown a lot, this is brown. But I feel like it will go with a lot of my sandals. And I feel like I am going to wear this. It's like a deeper brown. I just I think it's so summery. It looks beautiful with the um, wicker. I don't even know what's called. It's wicker, raffia, straw, woven, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to call it wicker. Um, it goes really well with this colour. So I think they do this in a few different colourways. They do also do a bigger version, like a big tote version, um, which is really, really nice. But I wanted a smaller crossbody one. And I just think this is, this is just such a perfect, cute little straw bag. So adorable. And also, I was also looking at the Saint Laurent ones, which I love. But I have to say, for a straw bag, this was still really expensive. But... The Saint Laurent ones are still as expensive pretty much as the leather ones and I just think like I just couldn't bring myself to to part with that for that kind of bag but this I feel like is a good price point for the brand it was still expensive but for the brand and for um the style and everything I just think it's really classic I feel like it will be a summer bag that I will wear and use for years to come super cute really really cute and I also like how it has the little so the inside is really really basic but it still has the little leather closure that you put through hang on doing this with one hand is quite tricky on an angle you put through there like that and it like closes it up i think it's so cute um so that is it that's my little far fetch haul this vlog turned into like a sit down video and it wasn't supposed to do that it was just on the fly um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think of the dresses which dress you think i should wear for the wedding um and let's get on with the vlog and if you want 10% off Farfetch, here's the code. So I've finished doing my little bit of filming. I've actually put on that um, black 
Melissa Odebash dress straight away and I actually love it. Like I really love it. I feel like it's gonna be a everyday staple. Um, and I'm now down in the kitchen with Mike. You haven't been in today's vlog yet, have you today, Mike? Hello. Hello. <laughs> how are, no Piggy, there's nobody new here. It's just us. Just me, um, How are you? I mean, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Just been looking after the little monster. Painting, I see. Uh, oh, we've painted Watching. The I mean, there's all sorts going on here. Painted the dinosaur, which is looking pretty fantastic. Daddy's definitely got carried away with, with the helping on that. And River, are you watching TV? I think River River's watching TV, playing with babies. And this afternoon, does Riv know about the zoo yet? I thought we told him about it, but... Rivy, would you like to go to the zoo? Maybe that no closed. It's closed? No, it's open now. The zoo's open. We're going to go to the zoo. The zoo. The zoo, yeah! Happy chappy? Not a chappy, happy lady? <laughs> Mom, can we get in the car? We can get in the car. We've got to eat our lunch first though, okay? Do you know what we're going to see at the zoo? Come sit with Mama. Some what? animals! Some animals! What's your favourite animal that you might like to see at the zoo? She's gone. Daddy. Penguins? <laughs> She's inviting Mike to the zoo. You're allowed to come. Um, so basically we're going to the Cotswolds Wildlife Park, which is not really a zoo. It's kind of like um, a mini safari park kind of thing. Um, and we are meeting up with some friends of ours that we haven't seen in, when was the last time you saw Ben, Mike? A year, probably. Haven't seen them in a long time. Can baby Kappa come out too? Baby Kappa can't come to the zoo, sweetheart. That's her cousin. But your friend B is coming. Do you remember B when we saw her before? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you ready for the zoo? We're gonna see all the animals. I think we've already noticed them. I've already seen a monkey. I there. think there's one. I've seen a monkey. She's right here. And I think there's one that smells as stinky as daddy. Maybe the elephant stinky. Stinky like daddy. Um, yeah. So let's go, should we go to the zoo? Mm -hmm. So I'm currently putting together um, my little bag for our outing to the zoo. And it made me laugh because I thought long gone in the days of what's in my bag. And I thought I would just sit, <laughs> sit with you guys a minute and just do, do a video. So bag wise, I'm taking my mini Louis Vuitton backpack, which I bought just before lockdown and it's barely been used. I'm taking that inside some milk emergency milk just in case little one hi, gets mommy. ratty hi baby and um we can't solve the problem milk usually does it um we've got an emergency nappy and obviously wipes for everything <laughs> we've got my face mommy. mask mike's gonna have his own yes a hug you want a hug come here it's a what? It's a disaster. It's a disaster. What? Because you can't find daddy? Mommy. You are so funny. Help me. And then, help, help me, you do what? Help me solve the mystery. Solve the what? Help me. Solve the mystery? What mystery have you found? What is the mystery? Is the mystery of where daddy's gone? Daddy, can you help? <laughs> okay. I know where he's gone. He's gone outside to do a quick job and then he'll be back inside in a minute, okay? Um, so then we also have spray hand sanitizer, Mommy. gel hand sanitizer, wipe sanitizers, um, a little stick of sun cream. You like sun cream, don't you? Nope. Oh, that's really hot. That's it? really hot, is it? My wallet and car key situation, this is the best thing I've ever been bought in my life, literally. Um, it's a wallet. Um, with a key um, holder um, in the middle um, and a car key holder on the end that's coming and the ipad obviously in case of emergencies because it's about an hour's drive away don't you bite me cheeky um and then i'm just gonna bring some more things like like my phone hi pepper pig's on the phone do you want to speak
<laughs> Did you speak to Emily Elephant on the phone? Mom, tell you we name the elephant. I will. Emily? Hi, Emily Elephant. Yeah, River is here. Would you like to speak to Emily Elephant, River? Uh -huh. Oh, I think she put the phone down. Anyway, let's go to the zoo. Shall we go? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm ready. You're ready. I'm also obviously taking, for anyone who has toddlers, emergency snacks, because otherwise we're going to get into deep hot water. Um, <laughs> The other thing I want to say, we're actually going to the wildlife park for like um, last entry, which I've did before with the same friend. You are right in here? She's in her playroom. Um, and it actually worked out really well. It basically means that you get there as everyone else is leaving, but you still have like an hour and a half or two hours to look round. And because River's only two and a half and their little girl's only two, they don't really want longer than that anyway. Like they've kind of got that that long is kind of like their max in terms of attention span but also like energy of walking around and stuff so hopefully it will be quiet and it will be a nice day out and it will be safe and all of that jazz so yeah let's go if we can finally find Mike she's given up looking for Mike and she's now cooking what are you cooking? What are you doing baby's bath? oh very interesting where are you going Riv? You're going to fly in the mingos. Baby piggy pig. <laughs> piggy pigs. They're like big. Where are the babies? I don't know. I, I can't see any babies either. Look, Riv, here's another one. Are you going to say hello? They're making a funny noise. That's actually quite cool. What are we going to see, Rivy? The way part the king. The zebras. They're stripy. Can you see the bar? They're stripy bottoms. And now we can get, and now we can jump. We can't jump down there. No, it'd be very dangerous. What do you do with the lid? We're just on our way home, but I wanted to show you the amazing view that we're currently driving through in the Cotswolds. So pretty, and it's such a nice day. We had a lovely time at the zoo. Someone's in a bit of a bad mood in the back because she wanted to go back and see the penguin. Um, and, but the penguins had gone to bed and we had to go home, so yeah. But we had a lovely time. We caught up with our friends. I didn't really like vlog much. I took a few clips of Riv running around and stuff because we were just catching up with them. We're now on our way home and we're debating what to do for dinner. It would be so nice to go out for dinner in a pub garden. We don't really know any pubs. A, that have good pub gardens. B, we're a bit nervous about going to the pub in general with, with River is more the specific thing because on your own you can be quite, you know, careful and obviously vigilant with your sanitizing and all that. But with a toddler, they just like want to touch everything. Um, and it's one thing like taking them round somewhere like that, the zoo, which was actually super easy um because it was like the end of the day and our plan actually worked and everybody basically was leaving as we arrived um but yeah it's hard and also country pubs don't do anything vegan really they, they usually have like one thing vegetarian it's usually got cheese in it it's rubbish but we're also thinking about how much we love the Cotswolds and how much I'd love to just pick up our house and plonk it here this village is so cute as well everything looks rubbish whenever you try and film it or for a vlog camera look at this little cottage with the red door it's so cute um all the villages here are so nice that looks like a nice pub <laughs> looks close to be fair i think it was a hotel um but yeah the cotswolds is just so gorgeous it's a good job we're not too far away from it you can come visit good morning guys it's bright and early this morning and currently me and my glamorous assistant here are making pizza dough because we're firing up the pizza oven today we've got a couple of friends coming over for lunch um who it's actually just a cut literally a couple um who we met right before lockdown and then we meant to like have them over and we never did so we're kind of like having them over for the first time making pizzas 
Um, River's currently got her whole hand in the sugar. Yeah, that's not, no, 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 no. River Wren, we need a spoon. One teaspoon in the pot. <laughs> that's enough, that's good, that's good. Might add a little sprinkle extra. Two teaspoon of yeast. So, me and my little sous chef are back. Post Peloton, I have had a shower but I haven't done my makeup yet because I just haven't had time and I'm currently chopping stuff for pizza toppings. What's that, Riv? It's a mushroom. Mushrooms. What's this? It's a... Do you know what that is? It's an onion. It's an onion. And we've also got some anchovies, pre-sliced olives, a pepper from the garden. We picked that, didn't we? Capers, sun-dried tomatoes, we've got some chorizo and ham over here. The tomato is ready. So we've got everything prepped. Clean kitchen. Man, it feels so good to have this kitchen clean. It's been such a mess over the past few weeks. Rivy's watching some Peppa Pig. Anyone else hate Peppa Pig or is it just me? Put a bit of slap on. Mike is tending the old oven out here. Oh my God, this sunshine. What, where has this come from? Here. Did you order it especially for your pizza day? Booked it in for pizzas.com. <laughs> and scuba, have you been swimming? Yeah, she's been swimming. Also, finally, this lavender that we planted last year that goes around our little pizza area is finally starting to flower, which makes me very happy because it was looking very bald for a long time. And Piglet loves it because she can sit along with you. She makes some pizzas, Pig. Yes. Good Monday morning, guys. Um, I didn't actually finish my vlog last night because, well, yesterday, because our friends came over and basically River turned into a monster. Genuinely, the worst she's ever behaved, Mike. Yeah, it's up there. The worst, like literally the worst. The whole day, um, she was in such well, a bad mood. Minute, she wanted to be okay. Yeah, and, and then and then and then it all went wrong. It all went really, then, really wrong, and, then, and, then, and she then, just ate it. And then as soon as the guys left, she was like, oh, my friends, oh, my friends. Yeah, sad times. So, yeah, we had um, three toddlers running around and River behaving like a crazy, crazy girl. So I didn't vlog anything. Like daughter um, and mother? Also, like, when you first met people, vlogging is really awkward in case you hadn't twigged that as a, as a viewer. <laughs> so, yeah, but we had a really nice time. The pizzas were great. There's still some leftover pizza on the side. This is what River, River ate last night for, di for dinner when she woke up from her nap. Delicious, looks really appetizing, right? Um, and I am super sweaty, so I've been back on the Peloton. On another note, I wanted to let you guys know, I had so many recommendations after, um, what is going on? I swear I still have my makeup on under my eyes. Let's just ignore that. After I mentioned about dry shampoo and washing your hair and going on the Peloton every day and getting really sweaty and it's pain in the bum to wash your hair. I don't know if you can see like, Got a bit of dry shampoo going on but the best recommendation having tried everything over the past couple of weeks the best recommendation is to put dry shampoo on before you work out at the roots and then put it on again after and then blow dry out or so good you just have a or shower you, i do have a shower <laughs> jesus oh, yeah. mike i'm not that imagine if i didn't shower oh. um <laughs> but what it's not about a wash it because i got so many recommendations being like just rinse your hair i'm like that's the same as washing it, really, because it only takes a couple of minutes to wash it. It's the, it's the styling it that's the problem for me, because it takes like 20 minutes, half an hour, which if I don't have it in the morning... Sharper. That's it, are you off to work? I am. Bye. Look at him with his toast on a, on a plate that he eats in the car. Shh. I don't eat in the car, I promise. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so, yeah, now it's Monday. I've got to go upstairs and get rid of... Is she watching TV? on our bed watching TV. I found this little one maxing, relaxing on my bed, watching Fime and Sam. A shark, oh my goodness. Can I take a photo, Riv? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So before I sign off and leave you all, two things I wanted to show you. The first one is my hair after doing that. So I curled this 
two days ago and then I've done that dry shampoo trick for the last two days so literally like it doesn't look amazing but this is like two minutes as opposed to having to dry it and style it um, all over again and, and the other thing are these earrings which I forgot to show you in the haul portion of this video I don't know why I'm so low here um, basically these are slips at the bottom of the box I completely forgot to show you but they're so beautiful I'm gonna wear them today they're from a brand called Brinker Analyzer which is a brand that I've had my eye on on Instagram they always like pop up on my Instagram as like um, recommended um, like a recommended account to follow and they make the most beautiful jewelry and I found these when I was doing my little far fetch haul and I loved them and the reason why I love earrings like this because I, I really like statement earrings but my problem is my ears this sounds really silly but my ears are quite flat like my earlobes are flat so if I wear hoops instead of them sitting like this on my ear they'll sit like outwards so it looks like I've got weird like ears instead of them being like pointing forwards if you get what I mean so when I go for like statement earrings the most flattering ones on me are like this so the ring is actually really small and the dangly bit dangles from it so they sit like that as opposed to um, if you have a big hoop it's sitting like sticking out I'll show you what I mean so this is them on I think they're so cute um, love those and like I said they were far fetch as well so you can get 10% off um, they actually sell quite a lot of the stuff from that brand and all of their jewelry is amazing I love it anyway that is it from me I hope you guys had a lovely weekend we did I'm hoping the sunshine kind of stays this week it'll be really good because my birthday this weekend coming um as well so I'm like come on sunshine um lots of love to you all and I'll see you very soon bye